right, welcome to another episode of Running Through the Eight. This week we are joined by freshman Razorback softball player Nyjah Fontenot. How are you? Doing good. Thank Doing you for good. hopping on. Of course, anytime. All right, so I guess let's start at the beginning. Um, you're from Louisiana. Um, tell us about that, I guess, first of all. Um, Louisiana is kind of where I'm from. It's kind of empty. So, Lake Charles, right? Yes, Lake Charles. I guess you could say empty now since the hurricane, but it was, it's not a very populated city, I can say. Was, there, right. was softball big there? Um, It was starting to, like towards the end of my senior year, junior year. Gotcha. So, when did you start playing softball? Have you always played softball, like other sports involved? What all did you do as a kid? I was a softball athlete since I was three. My dad played softball. He played slow pitch. So, I just kind of followed in his footsteps. I played wee ball and tee ball just at the local level. Nice. Yeah, and then when did – we know you ran track. When did that come into play, high school? Middle school. I middle ran a middle school. Actually, I got cut. I got cut in seventh grade. I started what? running seventh grade. We, we saw a crazy <laughs> – we saw a crazy thing where you won a track meet, and then a few hours later you want to play all softball. Oh, yes. That happened a couple times, but that was yeah. senior year. Senior year, I think it was first round. Or sec- I think it was second round. Second round playoffs. And it was our district. It was our district meet. I did it senior year and junior year. Junior year, it just so happened that we hosted the track event. So I got a I got escorted by a golf cart to the softball field. Hey. <laughs> Play That's cool. Third round. And I had one district. And then last year, my senior year track was in new iberia which is like two hours away so i only ran a few events one qualified and went to the second round of playoffs for softball that's crazy that's a lot it was fine so um i saw i guess it was on twitter i saw so did you and riley cloud play together when y'all were kids yes so are y'all from like the same area kind of um, she lives an hour away, so okay. the same. She's in a very small area. So y'all been this... playing together for a couple years, maybe a year, whatever. About two years. So y'all were acquainted by the time y'all had committed, and now oh, yeah, up in Fayetteville. Yes, that's awesome. Is the softball community pretty small, like in Louisiana, I guess, or state by state? Would you say? Yes. So y'all all know each other and kind of will somehow play each other throughout? Yeah, you can see how people could be like, oh, I remember her. I remember seeing her. Or you just always kind of run into people, I guess, because the travel ball tournaments, everybody wants yeah. to go to the big one. So you end up playing them. Then you end up following them. Y'all talk. It just kind of goes run together. Run into each other everywhere. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like that AAU circuit, kind of. Yeah, so your state champion – all American. What is this three time national champion you got going on? Oh, that's when I played with the hot shots. We won USA. We won USA and then um triple crown. Then we won another, I think we won Kansas City. It was three, the three big tournaments. So it was three national championships in one summer. Wow. That's Damn. insane. <laughs> <laughs> three natties in one summer. Yeah, that was that was a ride. So when did you start getting recruited by colleges? Ooh. Freshman year, I would say. Freshman year of high school. I kind of felt like I was I, – I, coaches were telling me that people were starting to watch me then. Okay. And then did that kind of just start off small, or when did Arkansas come in the picture? They were actually one of the first schools to come into the picture, which was crazy because I didn't think I was that high. Yeah, I was thinking more local schools and – my parents told me, I was like, um, no, going to a camp. I was like, Arkansas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's how, that's how a lot of people are. Um, was Courtney heavily involved from the beginning with you? Coach Stifle? Yes. was one of the 
can say heavily involved. Yeah, she was one of the biggest supporters. I felt like she just wanted us to be happy. Like when we went to the camp, it was just always, are you okay? Is this okay? Like, are you are you comfortable? Like she was just always there. When we seen her at like travel ball tournaments, we couldn't talk to her. We couldn't talk to any coaches like at all, but I felt like she was always just there watching. You just knew why she was there. Kind of a motherly type mm. vibe to her. So what ended up like selling Arkansas? Like, did you come visit and that was it? Or what made Arkansas like your number one? The first visit when I, when I was a freshman, my parents were telling me like, coach said they wanted, like, coach Eiffel talk to your coach and they want you up there for a camp. It was like, Arkansas, okay. Mm -hmm. And so when we went up there, we kind of visited around, kind of like a tour almost, went to like basketball, we had a camp, and then we went to different, just different arenas, and we just, it was just really fun. It was so home-like, and it was my first ever one, so it was just surreal, I guess you can say. So, Wait, was, Arkansas, yeah. Wait, was Arkansas your first visit? Is that what you said? It wasn't a visit. It was the first camp, but it was the first, like, tour. We've I've never been to a okay. big camp before. Gotcha. So, when I committed, which was during COVID, mm -hmm. so we couldn't go on any visits. We had to wait next year. I didn't go on my visit until my senior year when I already committed. Okay. So the so Arkansas was number one because of the bond I had with all the coaches. Just from that, just from that one, I went to other camps, but that one specifically really just kind of solidified the bond I had with them. And then just the campus was beautiful. And it, I came in December. It was just still didn't care. Mm -hmm. oh. still so, so I asked everybody this. Did you know where the University of Arkansas was when you visited? Because a lot most people think it's in Little Rock before they actually, before they, you know, visit. So did you know it was in Fable? No, I didn't know where it was. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you didn't. Most people don't. Everybody thinks it's in Little Rock. And nobody knows it's like in the Ozarks and those mountains. And it's beautiful. Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah. So you committed. Um, this past summer, you played for the Lady Dukes, right? Yes. With Reagan Johnson, Kiki Estrada, Italia Rio. You told us Italia's your roommate now. So yes. is that bond? Did you guys just bond over, A, the fact that y'all are all about to be teammates for the next four or more years and be like getting to know each other getting to play each other with each other like that I know is a huge factor in like chemistry and stuff so coming here was that like are y'all super bonded now and you can tell in like in like y'all's play that y'all have played together and y'all have been teammates for at least a little bit now how's that been good um yeah I didn't know any of them until the Lady Dukes, you know, all I knew about was about them, like they're here. Mm -hmm. So of course, when we got together, it was just like, you, you, and you, we're together. Like, let's, let's get this on the road. So we were just, we are like, now like, you're like, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? And all the freshmen are really close, but you can tell like, we know, we know about each other, like what we like to do, what we don't, and pieces of our game that we know is very strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I coach like 16, 14 you and they're all like on the same travel team. And so when they're playing on my team, you can just tell that their bond is so different because they already know each other's play and it makes a huge difference. And now we've got some girls coming in in a couple of years that are all playing together right now. And it's going to be crazy up there. Yes. But I was building a monster with you guys. <laughs> so, yeah. So when you committed, what do you talk to the other commitments or all, or the other commits, I guess? Do y'all kind of bond before committing? Or do you just kind of, I'm committed and I'm going to meet everybody when I get there? No, like, we just met everybody when we got there. We, I was the second commit because he was already committed before the role change. So you were the second, okay. I was the second. I was like, Kiki was already committed, but I was the first one to commit like after September 1st after the rule change, I was the first one to commit other than Kiki. But um, when they committed, oh. you know, we all kind of text each other like, hey, oh my gosh, how are you? I love to like text you. So when we all joined 
I actually kind of brought Reagan to the Lady Dukes when he told me, he was like, you know anybody who need an outfit? I'm like, Reagan Johnson. So I text mm-hmm. Reagan. Reagan came and it was really, that was really good for me. We're the same position. So it was good to like know her and we still mm-hmm. are really, really close. But we didn't know anybody. We just kind of text each other after we come in and was like, hi, how are you? Can we, mm-hmm. can we check? I'm banking. Right. I'm banking on you two being the fastest on the team. I I bet I could win any bet with you and Reagan being the quickest girls on the team. Yeah, Callie. Callie's close too. Callie oh, is quick too. Close too. I was asking Cindy before this. You had 21 stolen bases, right? Is that your senior year? Yes. Is that a school record? I don't know. We didn't do. Uh, we just like we just got like awards. Like, to, like, awards. That's gotta be. I can't imagine more, at least. And we had a slapper on the team before me. She went to ULM. So she was – actually, I think I might have been, like, second because she had a lot because she would just, like, hit a single, still second. I was the second batter, hit her in, one run. It was just, like, <laughs> way, it was just the way it rolled. I was more of a double home run triple. Like, I had, like, seven triples. So it was just, like – The power, yeah. I, really steal bases like I could have if I was a slapper but I was kind of impressed myself when I saw I had that many stolen bases <laughs> yeah I, that made my eyes pop well huge. I noticed um in the fall the first game against Louisiana Tech you were on second and then I think someone was on first Shanice hit a good little ball but coach Dyfel was telling you to hold up and you just went right past her and went around and scored and got lucky that the ball had a little bounce. But um, did you hear anything about that afterwards or was she just like, whatever, you got the first uh, <laughs> ball? Or a teaching experience. Like they came up to me, I was like, what did you see there? I was like, I don't know. I was like, around it, I seen this. And it was just like, but well, she stopped you. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, you, you didn't even know she was holding you. No, I, 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 like, I never, <laughs> you just, you I was watching going. and I was like, uh oh, I hope she scores on that. <laughs> I mean, it takes like seven steps to get to the bag. Once I'm like two steps in, like you're behind me at that point. I can't see. Yeah. Here yeah. Yeah. Um, so how was the fall season for you? It was fun. I was, um, when we first started, I was very, I was very nervous. Like yeah. I was just, I didn't know what to expect. And I was like, all oh, the older girls. Like after the first race of X and Lemonade, it was just like, that's it. Like that was we're just playing each other. And I was like, Yeah, you're you're just making it more than it is. It's not it's not big. So like as time went on, it was so much more comfortable and just just kind of loose and you're just you're just playing a game. It just felt like another softball game. Yeah. Yeah, didn't it look like like it looked like y'all have played with each other forever, the way y'all are acting when during the last last weekend scrimmages, I guess, against each other. The chemistry looks there for sure. Well, everybody's just so nice. Every, like, you do all, you, like, watch, like, High School Musical, and it's always, like, a bully or something like, like that. It's never, it was just never that. They're just all so sweet and so welcoming. Like, you can't even socially distance yourself from people. It's just like, hi, do you want a hug? It's just, yeah, it's so nice and welcoming. They just kind of, they just kind of bring you in. You feel like you're one of them already. And not do, you, do you think Coach Stifle brings that kind of vibe to the table with her? Yes. I feel like she yeah. starts yeah, her energy, her energy, her welcoming energy just kind of rubs off on everybody. I can feel it through the TV when I watch it. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, those were a ton of fun to watch for sure. It, it's just like y'all are so fast paced, which is crazy because the last couple of years, the teams have been so like power dominant, power yeah. hitters and, uh, you know, a bunch of home runs. And that kind of that kind of hurt us in the super regionals last year because the small ball wasn't there. It was just trying to do power stuff. So you guys are a lot more inside the park, but a lot of speed. So the game's moving really quick. And there's a lot of power on y'all's teams, but it's not like it has been. So have you all discussed like expectations and considering the last couple seasons of 
regionals, super regionals, um, like pressure from fans, expectations from fans, or have you all gotten into that yet? No, we haven't really gotten into that. I mean, the slappers, they kind of pull us. We're like different. <laughs> like the slappers, they just kind of pull us off to the side and they're like, let's try to do this. Let's try to do that. I feel like they're experimenting. because This is new to them also. Mm -hmm. So it's not boundaries. We're just kind of playing our game and we'll just kind of brought it out or like tame it in from there. But we're just, they're letting us have free range right now as slappers. Yeah. Do you have any former teammates like from high school, travel ball, whatever, like in the SEC that you'll be seeing this year? No, sadly. No. Our pitcher went to Boston College in the ACC. Okay. Have you got to meet Hunter Yerichuk yet? No. No. So everybody who he asks, has he, after games, I guess you'll get to see it, but he'll be in the locker room and like holding doors and he says, oh, he'll always be around after games. So I guess look forward to that. I guess. <laughs> yeah, but I have seen him around at practices, just kind of watching, but I haven't met, I haven't met him yet. That's gotcha. Cool. That's cool. So what was your biggest surprise when you came to Fable for the first time? The surprise? Yeah. Like what uh, surprised you the most? Uh, do you want to hear a really funny one? Yes. The day of my move-in day, there was a woman with a raccoon at the entryway, and I said, I want to pet it. I like, I'm fine. She had a pet raccoon? <laughs> two dogs. A pet and raccoon and two Where? Just at our apartment. Just right oh outside. <laughs> so you might the have a neighbor. <laughs> Welcome to Fayetteville. Thank yeah. You. Yeah, and then I don't know the when it's been, but in yeah, in the in the spring there was a raccoon in the baseball <laughs> stands running around. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> that might be the same one. Did you see that? You yes, yeah, holding it. Yeah. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Might have sold it to that guy for a pet. So, do you have a? like go-to pregame song like you got to listen to oh okay so me and Natalia just just like we were at practice and I heard it one day and I was just like Natalia I need to find this song so we just seen it on Google and we found this song and it's now become our absolute favorite song before every Razor Backs Unlimited or anything we play on a song how are you on the dance floor it's just it's the country song yes <laughs> party on the dance floor Her Her day. Oh, heartache. Yeah. Okay. My John party. Perfect. <laughs> single day. Um, did you know any of the Louisiana Tech girls whenever they were there? I knew two of them. We okay. played in all-star game together when me and Riley played. They were also on our team. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. It was so cool at the end. It didn't register until like they got to bat and they said their names. Me and Riley, oh my gosh, you remember them? <laughs> So you've got like four people there that are kind of, kind of like home. Like you've already, you're already cool with, you've already played with, comfortable with. Yeah. That's awesome. This is random, but do you have a game that you have circled or are you most excited about playing? LSU. 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 Yeah, that's a good answer. That's an obvious answer, I guess. Where, where is that? Is that at home or is that there? I actually can't. I don't remember. <laughs> I can't remember what? there. Yes, I want to say. Yeah, I think it's there because they were here last year. Yeah. So you'll probably have a big crew there. Uh, hey, maybe. <laughs> hey, there you go. <laughs> have you found any good food here? I like plomos, biology. Okay. You found any Cajun food? No. No. I think Powerhouse might have some. Powerhouse has some has some Cajun food. Have you ever been there? I don't know. I'm about to check it out. Yeah, Powerhouse is good. You need to get out and venture. Yeah. So what's your major? Currently, it is exercise science. Ooh, that's cool. Emphasis is that, currently. <laughs> is that what you want to do? Be like a physical trainer? Yes, I want to be a physical therapist until I realized I have to go back to school. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Um. Now I'm going to change it to accounting. 
for the next Ooh. semester. Okay. There you go. I like that. I was sports management, so nowhere near accounting. <laughs> <laughs> Are your classes in the hyper for what it is now? Hyper? The um, yeah, the hyper. Your built your class is in there. I have one class in there. Uh, okay. That's where all the sports management um, classes are, as well as, or at least that's where they used to be. That's that's why university, university perspectives class. Oh, God. Mine was in Old Main. <laughs> Mine was in Old Main, and um, I <laughs> fell down the stairs outside of there, and it was the most embarrassing moment I had in Fayetteville, probably. On the back side or on the front? On the back side. <laughs> walking out the Ouch. back but everybody was right there because everybody had class at that time it was awful it was bad I was like i own a scooter <laughs> so me and talia like we just like roll everyone on our scooters but the thing is like the walkways are so narrow so we're like swerving through <laughs> then a couple times swerve off the like concrete hit the grass and you're like fumbling you just get off the you just get off the scooter and walk <laughs> How has it been adjusting to like student athlete li life, like from high school to now college and having to do practices and all that and classes? Yeah, it depends on the day because some have three classes. So it's like, oh man, like when do I have time? The other day is only like today I had two, tomorrow I have one. So that's a good, that's a good thing. You don't have to wake up at 7 a.m. for school anymore. You have a class at two o'clock. Yeah. It's like yes. great. Do y'all have mandatory study hall? No. Or anything like that? No. No sports that do. Right. But from the um, from what the veterans have told me, mm -hmm. like unless you're like failing or anything like that, you don't have to. It's not mandatory, but that's where you spend your time, basically. Yeah, in the athletic or student athletics building or whatever the gym mm -hmm. center. The Jones Center. We've interviewed, I've noticed that we've interviewed people a few times and they're always there. Like if they're on campus, that's the building that they're in. Yeah. I've I, always wanted to adore that place. Like today I was in there for three hours. It's nice. <laughs> do you wanna do you wanna do you want us to give a hint that something's coming or yes. would you rather just yeah, I'm really excited when it comes in on Monday. Oh my God, you're gonna love it. They, I mean, they hook you up too. If it's yeah. the same, yeah, we get like two big boxes, like a T-shirt, hats, like I don't know. Let, let us know for sure what you get. Um, like, just like we have the dealer, like the car dealership again. I'm like, and a new coming. Oh, Everett is doing it again. Yes, they were like they renewed it. A few is that weeks for ago. the whole softball team? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That is awesome. That's really cool. The blessing for a broke college student over here. Yeah. Are you part of that one Razorback thing? No, we haven't got in say yet. It's volleyball and football. We're trying to, though. I don't even really know what it is, and I think most of them don't. I think it's just a way to get their name out for businesses to reach out. That's kind of... Like... Yes. It's basically just a platform. I guess you haven't felt favorable when it's freezing yet, have you? No, the coldest it was, was that it was yesterday morning. Me and I was scootering to work out <laughs> at like 30. And it was like 25. Ugh. And yeah. you just I don't have any, I don't have any. Do any of y'all have mopeds that like actual we used to call them scooters back when I was there, but mopeds like motorcycles, but scooters. Rob Robin has one. I love those things. Robin named her Rhonda because it's a Honda. She named her Rhonda. Rhonda the Honda. I love it. <laughs> there we go. That's yeah, great. Hey, well, you're, it's going to be freezing. And you're from like South Louisiana. So you probably haven't felt. It's still like 80 over there. So I oh, woke up yeah. and I was breathing. I was like, I don't think this is going to work. No, it's going to work. <laughs> you got to make it work. We need you. It's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Not on my scooter. I think oh, it's a good. cold one, too, because it's already freezing. I'm in Little Rock, and it's freezing <laughs> here. 
they're like cutting through the air and I couldn't feel my fingers. Like we want to workouts and I couldn't like move my fingers. I'm like, I need to defrost for a second. Please just give me a second. <laughs> So what's something outside of softball that's like a hobby of yours that you like to do? I kind of hate that question, but you get it. I just like to read when I can. Yeah. Yeah. It's lacking because all the homework, but I love to read. That's cool. I guess. I'm more of an autobiography girl. I'm not like a just fantasy. It's like I like autobiographies. Yeah, like documentaries? Yes. Yeah, there you go. Is your mom going to be able to come visit a lot? My mom? Yeah, for the... I mean, for they're going to try to come to me in season, like every year game, anything close, like Texas a and LSU? LSU. Yeah, those type of games. They're definitely going to try to come. Good. Your dad likes some of our tweets. I love it. My dad. Yes. <laughs> we get really excited when parents like it. Oh, I <laughs> love when the parents follow us or and like like our tweets and stuff. Your dad's one of them. Uh, the twins' dad is one of them. Yes. Hannah Gamble's mom is one of them. I love it. <laughs> it's very active on Twitter. Very. Yeah. Do you like that or no? <laughs> I do. It just sometimes it, you know just gets out of hand, but we love it. <laughs> There's a few football players, Daz, who are on it, too. So. Yeah. Are you friends with any of the other athletes, uh, uh, you know, outside of softball? Yes, I have some, like, track friends. Like, I have some track friends, football. I met a few volleyball girls. That's about it. I guess being in that Jones Center, kind of be around everybody. Yeah. I say it's crazy. I haven't met any – I don't know any baseball boys yet. I don't, I don't know one. We saw one of the volleyball girls we had on at one of the fall games, Hannah Hogue. We mm -hmm. saw her at one of them, or I saw her at one of them. I don't think Will was there yet. So did you pay attention to Arkansas softball last year? Yes, absolutely. And then all the other sports? Because I see you liking a bunch of our tweets, no matter what it's about, like about football, basketball. Are I'm you? Are you? In all of it. Cool. I know if you have football boys. Basketball girls. I'm just, yeah. So you kind of, since Hunter Yurichek has come on campus, the vibes on that table have changed so much around the athletics. And I'm sure y'all can feel it, right? Like y'all, y'all have sense what's going on in special. And y'all, y'all are part of it, right? Yes. Like everybody's all in on everything right now, fan wise, athlete wise. Yes. You can definitely feel the energy. So it's, it's amazing. It is. I'm it's like a huge family. It's because Arkansas, there's literally nothing else. There's no like professional baseball, football. There's no, I guess, opponent that besides Arkansas State. But you get what I'm saying. Arkansas, the Razorbacks is what Arkansas has. And so if you're Arkansas, you're your family with the Razorbacks. Yeah, I was like, we um had like this event. It wasn't everybody, but like Hannah Gamble. Callie and Mallory we um went to a church like five minutes away and it was called intersection and homeless people just came in fed them and gave them drinks you could just talk to them it was just it just makes my personal mm -hmm. any type of like event outside of softball since I've been here so I used to love to do it in Louisiana especially like the hurricane mm -hmm. there was boys help so when Hannah texted us about it we we're like I said, like, yeah, it was just fantastic. That was today? Yeah. Wow, very cool. Uh, thank you for coming on. Absolutely. I was so excited. I was looking forward to it all day. Oh, good. So are we. 